How do we introduce ourselves? <laughs> I don't know, you'd probably say something like, you're outdoorsy. Oh yeah, we're outdoorsy. We love having fun, mm. sports, fishing. It's all there. Exactly. <laughs> we're YouTubers, it's a great life. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm Brett, and this is Scott, and we are from How Ridiculous. I'm a Curtin graduate and I studied physiotherapy, graduated back in 2009. I graduated in 2012. I did a Bachelor of Science majoring in Coastal Zone Management. I think when you immediately think about it, there's no huge link between physiotherapy and you know how ridiculous and what we do now. They, they seem to be completely different, but... Maybe in the future as we get a bit older. Yeah, I think the older <laughs> the we get, the physio skills could more. be quite helpful. <laughs> I think a big part of being a physio, and I worked as a private practice physio for five years, a big part of it was your communication and being able to communicate professionally and clearly and concisely to people and to be able to come across as really professional and, and very uh, sincere and, and very well thought out is a really good skill. We do um, pitches to, to brands all the time, so um, for me there's a huge amount of connections there um, that when I look at it, I go, wow, yeah, uni was really helpful. The business side is an interesting story because, I mean, when we started YouTube, like, there wasn't even a YouTube app on your phone. We grew for, you know, six years, say, um, quite consistently, not super fast, but, like, pretty consistently. And then all of a sudden, YouTube in that, that six-year chunk between 2009 and 2015, it was, it was a big deal, you know, and there's YouTubers and people are following YouTubers and all this kind of stuff and that naturally brought a wave of investment from the commercial world. The cool thing I think for us is that it's actually opened up a world of possibilities for content that we wouldn't have otherwise because we, we don't have big budgets, we can't just throw lots of money behind stuff and hope it works, whereas when you get a company backing you they say we can help make it happen. Scorpio ring and it's just, it's all happening now. Yeah. For us, it's always been about how can we, you know, use our innovation, our creativity, our thinking outside the box to create things that are going to stand out. We actually are constantly trying to reinvent things and, and to, I suppose, put a cool spin on things that makes things that might seem ordinary entertaining. I think as well, on a, on a deeper level, we really do want to um, in some ways be an, an example or an inspiration to others. As corny as it sounds, like to do, to do what you believe is possible and, and you just never know where it could lead. In our early days, we decided straight away that we didn't want to just muck around for the sake of mucking around and just to have fun and, you know, for, for to get famous. We wanted to make a difference in the world and and that the cause that we really got behind was child poverty and that was something that really resonated with us and that was, that was huge for us because it, it gave us a real purpose that was beyond just fun. I think at the end of the day when we go to sleep we rest on the fact that you know we really get a great sense of purpose and enjoyment out of what we do and it's a great way to go to sleep at night. Yeah. It's actually a really good way of putting it.